tonight. Amen. Amen. How many of you came to celebrate with us? Amen. 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 Is, uh, we're not uh, honoring anybody posthumously tonight. Sister Crochet is alive and well. Amen. Amen. And we honor her presence because we know if she could be here, she would. Amen. Amen. But Amen. we have the other half of her tonight, Ella Crochet, our sister pastor. Amen. So we'll consider her sitting over there, amen, to his right, <laughs> to his left, wherever he wants her to sit. <laughs> amen. And so we're glad, and it's a blessing that you all came tonight to help us here at the Mount Zion Christ of the Sanctified Church celebrate service in the Lord. Amen. If the world can celebrate anniversaries, we can certainly celebrate one who has been called, those who have been called and anointed by God Amen. to do a service in the house of God. How many of you know this is nothing new? Amen. Amen. Ever since God organized the church way out in the wilderness, yes. Amen. he called people to serve him yes. in the tabernacle and he anointed them yes. for the position. Amen. And anointing is just another word today, but how many know with anointing comes service? Amen. Amen. You learn to play, amen, whether anybody like it or not. Amen. You will play whether anybody say anything or not. You will play whether you are asked to do it or not. And when you've been anointed to do a job, nobody has to beg you not just something you get paid to do. Amen. Thank God for the paycheck. Amen. amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. So we are grateful tonight, amen, that to honor those that deserve to be honored tonight in this appreciation service. And at this time, we're going to ask Evangelist Pat Jefferson to come and give the welcome and the occasion. After which, we would have expressions of love coming from Evangelist Evelyn Tucker, and uh, we'll go on from there. So would you receive at this time Evangelist Pat Jefferson for the welcome and the occasion. Would you praise the Lord as she comes tonight? We praise God tonight to be in your presence. Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God! Sometimes you have to get them keys out when you go in our church, honey. <laughs> Glory to God. 
Yeah. The Lord says that give honor to whom honor is due, and they are due honor. So you're welcome just to get in the praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. You know, Brother Crochet ain't no deadbeat. It's where I ain't no deadbeat. Yeah. We come here to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want you to just stretch out on God. Oh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know you feel welcome now. Glory to God. Amen.
and share with you spiritually. They are more important than the government. Amen. And we want to pay our taxes to the government. Yes. Amen. When right. Jesus went before the temple, praise the Lord, and I wanted to say that because I know the enemy fights us a lot of time with giving. Praise the Lord. And we said we're going to honor man. But he said honor whom honor is due. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. And you know, when Jesus went before the, in the temple, and he was with Peter, and, and they, the people began to ask if, does your master tell my Jesus, does he pay back in the temple? Oh, yes. Peter said, yes. And Jesus told Peter, said, go fish. <laughs> yes. Open that fish mouth and uh -huh. put in there some money. Yes. Why? Because we don't want to offend the people. Now, Jesus was willing to conform to that tradition and that custom that he would not offend the priests and those that were over the temple. Right. Amen. 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 That's why he did it. He didn't want to offend. So this is a lot of times why we support the program. Because we don't want to be offensive to one another. We want to give that honor where honor is due. Yeah. And I dare you to give honor in love and sincerely and watch that honor come back to you. That's right. Praise the Lord. Elder Crochet and Missionary Crochet, she told me to do that. <laughs> she told me two things when I talked to her this week was, I'm tired and say something to me on the video. <laughs> but it's indeed a great pleasure to be here on this evening just to stop by and say I've only known the crochets for a short time, but it's been a blessing right. to know them on a business level and a personal level, even though they may be going through things, but we have a way of meeting up, evening, even in the office, and saying something that was going to lift us all up. Right. So I say to them, God bless you, and hope you have 9, 10, 20 more appreciation services. And if the Lord says the same, we'll be right here. I know it may seem like we're on the air, and we're talking about everybody in Toledo, Ohio, and overseas, and all of that. But we believe when it's homegrown and right here in Dallas Fort Worth, we believe in being right there right there in the church. So please accept my apologies that I have to leave it to a, another appreciation service. So God bless you and continue in prayer. And God bless you all this crochet and to missionary crochet. Thank you. Amen. We certainly appreciate that. Katrina Bryan radio station, KHVN. And at this time, we're preparing to go in.
And that's what we're here for tonight. We're here to give thanks and praise to this couple because truly they are worthy. Matt. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. And this is describing them to the team. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Jesus Christ, which says he's a peacemaker, who gave himself a ransom for all to be justified in due time. Yeah. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore then men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubt. And I'm going to skip down here to the 10th verse where it says, But in parentheses, which becomes woman, professing godliness with good works. Now, how many of you know Cynthia as this? <laughs> Let's Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Because truly she is a person of good works. It says down here at the 15th, the uh, 14th verse, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Yeah. Okay, over here on the fourth, starting at the third and fourth, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. That means he manages well. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't have to worry about that tonight. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a prayer. Praise the Lord. I want to give honor to the pastor of life. Praise the Lord and to all God's people and especially to the honorees tonight. Praise the Lord. I just wanted to say that Cynthia has been a real good friend of mine. Praise the Lord since I've been a little bitty girl. And we have been the Christ Little Sanctified Church together. And uh, I remember uh, on one occasion when we would be, I was at the same university where Cynthia was going at North Texas State, and um, the March meeting was coming up, state meeting, and uh, both Robin and Cynthia came by the uh, dormitory to get me, to bring me up here for rehearsal, making sure I would be here for rehearsal, but I didn't have a way to get back up here. And she would call the dorm and tell me to just get ready. They were coming by to pick me up. And I appreciate that. You know, God yeah. drove me all the way up here, uh, took me to eat, and then took me on back to the dorm and dropped me off safe and sound. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you, Cynthia, and I appreciate you on the first shake. Promises, but in return you gave. 
and to the pastor and his wife and uh, to the honorees this evening. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord once again. Amen. amen. I've enjoyed the service thus far. I'd like to just say a few words, amen, about amen, Reverend Elder Proche. <laughs> amen. A very good friend of mine, amen. I worked with, amen, and had the privilege, amen. It's because of him that I have the type of job I got today. Amen. I thank God for him. Amen. I was unemployed for a couple of weeks and he said, hey, come over here and try it out. Amen. I tried it out and been there since. Amen. I thank God for him. Amen. He's not like a whole lot of people. Amen. And I'm, I'm not saying just because it's, it's their day and their night. Amen. But it's true. Amen. I was in, uh, in need of transportation at one time. An emergency came up and I was on the job. And he had a brand new 19, uh, it was a brand new, I don't know what year it was, amen. <laughs> he had a brand new car, amen. One of them, uh, them little small cars, an emergency came up, and I, I came to him, I said, I, I, need, I need to use your key. That's what I, <laughs> I said, I need your key. He didn't ask no question, he had got his keys out and gave them to me. Amen. It means a whole lot, amen, when you had to go through a whole lot of questionnaires, amen, when right. your best friend. Amen. Hey, uh, can, I, can I have a cup of what you need it for? Amen. Amen. But a friend, amen, a true friend, amen, they are there in the good and the bad. And I'm going to throw something in here which you may not agree with, but sometimes friends get upset. Amen. Oh, uh, yeah, you done got upset before. We sure enough got upset. But one thing about it, we straighten that upset up, straighten it out, too. Amen. So I thank God for him, amen. He's been a true friend, amen. I thank God for him. And there's not very many people I call friends. I don't call everybody. The Bible lets you know, be careful, amen. You don't call everybody your friend. You got a problem if everybody you see is your friend. You, know, you got a deep problem. Amen. You know, some folks, some folks got this little attitude, you know, oh, everybody I meet is my friend. You need to read the Bible, and you keep on living, you will experience something, too. Amen. I thank God for him, and we love him, and to Sister Cynthia Crochet. All right, looking right in the camera. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you have. Amen. I thank God for her, too, amen. She has been, we've been knowing each other well over 30 years. That's right. Uh, I ain't gonna tell her age, amen. But she's young, amen. But like we've been knowing each other well over 30 years, and, and I'm gonna throw this in here because I know my friend don't care, amen. I, I, I was, you know, when you're growing up, you know, you kind of have the people that you like, you know, all right. right. Now. I'm gonna say it anyway, and I call myself, you know, what I You know, <laughs> and I went to try to get serious, and she told me, started laughing, told me, you just like my brother. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. I said, I don't want to be your brother. <laughs> and from ever since that day, I've been brother. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Crochet, we have to worry about if we got ourselves. Amen. We yet brothers and sisters. Yeah. Amen, because they are, amen, if I use the word of bouquet, well put together, yeah. amen, come out musically inclined, amen, I tell you, they can go to sleep on their own music, yeah. I tell you what, they can make their own music and dance by, yeah. amen, I thank God for them, and, and my closing, amen, I've been the privilege of being with them, amen, seeing the newborns every time they had one, and thank God for Gerald, amen, Roger. Roger, whoever he is. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. We don't think saw the new one. Amen. Ain't no harm to keep on. Amen. Blessing the land. Amen. Now I just thank God for it, man. And like to encourage you to keep on doing what the Bible says. Amen. After a while, you'll have your own team. Amen. God bless you. Okay, this is a double take. Hey, look at the camera and say something. Crochet. Crochet. We thought you told us everything. But you didn't tell us that.
God in here tonight. Everybody ought to have their hands together for the good Lord. Sister Cynthia Crochet, I sing. Amen. Just thank God for that. Let me say a couple of words about these people. These are my brothers. This is my brother and my sister. Amen. I adopted them a long time ago. My wife and I got married back in 79. And I was in the military at that time. And my wife wrote and she asked me, she said, well, who do you want to be your best man? And she began to call off some of my friends' names. I told her, no. I told her, I said, call Robert Crochet. At that time, he was just Robert Crochet. You know, I think he had been called to the ministry. And I told him, I said, call Bella Crochet and tell him I would like him to be my best man in my wedding. And when I finally came home from the military, he said, I was kind of shocked that you asked me. But God had already put something into the mix yeah. that we didn't even know about. Uh -huh. We became to be the best of friends. We have run revivals together we have come together and never had any cross words. And too many people cannot say that. Amen. 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 Even some of the saints of God, you cannot say that. But we've never had any cross words. And I love him like a brother. I know I can always call on him and get a word of encouragement from him. Telling me to keep on doing what I'm doing. Amen. And to Sister Cynthia Crochet. She knows I love her. Amen. Our lady, a fireball for the good Lord. Amen. Somebody's always say, every time you see it, she's on fire for the Lord. Amen. How many know that this afternoon? Amen. Always tell somebody that they need to praise the Lord. Amen. When you're up, you need to praise Him. Amen. When you're down, you need to praise Him. Amen. Ella Gates, brother, I call her Ella, but Brother Gates, all the time, every time I see her, I talked to her, I called her this morning, and I told her, I said, congratulations. And she said, well, thank you. She said, who is this? I said, this is Mr. Williams. You know, I, I just called her to congratulate her. But after I called her, I think we talked for maybe about 45 minutes an hour, talking about the good Lord, talking about where the Lord has brought us from, talking about it's good to be saved. And she began to tell me, she said, Mike, she said, I can look back over your life. I don't have to look over mine. She said, I can look where the Lord has brought you from. And I said, well, I can thank God for you because you were part of my inspiration. Man. You and Ella Crochet both. Let's give them a hand tonight. <laughs> God has been so good to us. I look back there and I see my wife and my, my daughter. I'm looking for my son. I don't see him. There you go. I should have knew he had on the drum. <laughs> Amen. And these people here were a great inspiration to me in my marriage. They're ideal people for you to look at if you want to look at a good couple. Amen. Amen. He's the former HYPBS president of the district. And when I got elected, I told him, I said, I will not take it unless I know that you are going to be in my corner. He told me that he was with me 100%. How many of you know that would step down and then tell the brother, I'm with you 100% all the way? Man. Amen. I let him know that I love you. I love you. There's nothing nobody can do or say that can change the love that I have for you because you are my brother. And I will always love you. I have a testimony. My wife is sitting back there. On last week, my wife, she's a manager at McDonald's and she, she carries money a lot. And she went to the bank to drop off some money. 
And a man walked up to her and put a gun up beside her head and told her, give me the money or I'll take your life. And you know, I always pray a prayer when I get up in the morning. Lord, protect my family. Protect my wife and protect my children. And bring us all back home at the appointed time. And the Lord just led me to call. I don't really call on a job that much, but he led me to call your wife. And when I called her, I could, I could sense the fear in her voice. And she said, I've been robbed. And she began to tell me about how the man told her, I would, if you don't give me the money, he said, I will take your life. And when I hung up the phone from her, after she told me she was all right, when I hung up the phone, I lifted my hand towards him and I said, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Because she could have been dead and gone. Right. He could have easily took the money and then took, still took her life. Lord, right. we serve a God this afternoon. Hallelujah.
down and he made a way for you. You want to say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to.
to the honorees tonight. And I want to thank God for sharing with me because I thank God for being here. Thank God for my life. Hi, Cynthia. Thank God for Sister Crochet. I, um, I, don't, I don't know how to get up and talk. I'm not a good speaker. But um, she, she's the reason that I feel that I'm playing now. You know, it's because I idolized her so much when I was little in meetings and stuff. I see how fiery and spicy she was on the court. And I always wanted to be like this crochet because she's a tenant artist. And, you know, I just thank God for it because it's kind of like, I think if she was playing, right. I thought it would be right. great. So right. I always wanted to be like that. Right. And then when she, um, when she got married, and married good looking minister of uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's what it's be like. <laughs>
We give honor to God and to the pastor of this church, praise the Lord, and to all the visitors, praise the Lord. We thank God for this occasion. Man. Praise the Lord. We thank God, praise the Lord, just to be able to be here. Praise the Lord. We thank the God for them being a friend as well as a cousin. But I tell you, praise the Lord, I praise God for the God that I see in her life. Praise the Lord, the God that I see in Minister Crochet. Praise the Lord, we just thank God to be here tonight. And as everybody was singing a song, you know, I said, I feel mighty thankful tonight. Yeah. I tell you, you can't help to thank God when you know God did something for you. Yeah. Amen. And I praise him tonight. Praise the Lord. I don't sing like all the good songs and songs that I've heard tonight. But one thing I know I can do real good is thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. I praise God tonight for what I feel in my soul. Praise God. And I praise him. Hallelujah. Because I know he's real. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Lord Shay, we too know and love her. Amen. We know what to be a pick of dynamite. Mm -hmm. I just want to say we love you, Sister Crochet. Love you. We pray for you, brother. God bless you. Continue to go higher and higher in the Lord, higher and higher, and deeper depth. That's what we're thinking in the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord tonight. We're praising and thank God for being here on tonight. Some of our members could not be here, but Sister Crochet, they send your they send their love to you. Amen. How many of you know tonight, amen, that the race is not given to the swift? The race is not given to the swift, but it's given to him that endures until the end. Amen. Y'all pray with us.
friend of mine, I don't talk to him that much, but I talk to her. She keeps him, she keeps him going. She keeps him on the organ, and she never let me forget the Lord. But I'm not talking about just musicians that come to be singers. I'm not talking about musicians that are sanctified. All right. Holy musicians. Do y'all mind if I borrow Sister Judith's choir? Thank <laughs> you. 